Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. So this is going to be a, tutor a tutorial on how to make this camper van using my classic camper van die set. Now isn't this absolutely gorgeous and I'll also be using my new papers too. So these are some of the samples that I've made up already and it is a gift box too. So this opens up so you can pop some really nice size goodies in there too. And I've popped acetate in the windows. Now just to quickly show you this one, this is one of my favourites too this one is an ice cream fan just need to put some sticks in there just to support that up and on top I've popped on one of my ice cream dies so this is actually a gift box too so you can pop in some nice treats in there as well so that just fits back together nicely right let's have a quick look at the die set and then we can get on with showing you how to put this lovely camper van together so this is the classic camper van die set it's uh, 14 dies nice sizable dies and it's super easy to put together as well you get all these details too okay so I've laid out the main dies there and you also get all these smaller dies too adding all of your little details so I'm going to go through the main dies first okay so you need to die cut two of this main die there so I'm going to quickly layer everything up so I've got two already cut out there you're also going to need two of these as well which I have and I've already added my tape so two of those and this die here is what we're going to run through the machine to create the window detail so I need to add that just to that section and you're going to need one of these and I've added some tape to the side with the straight edges and you're going to need to run this through twice or maybe even four times if you would like to double up your wheels so I have my wheels here already so if you run this through another two times you can double up your wheels if you have something heavy that's going to go inside your camper van and before we assemble everything together we have the front of the van here that's going to add some um, embossed detail and it's also going to cut the windows out and this is the back section here as well so that's going to cut out the back the back window so we've got the windscreen and the back of the rear window thingy and it's going to emboss as well okay let's clear the decks again and then I can quickly show you I'm hoping I've made myself enough space here don't normally work with everything around me like this but I do think it does look kind of nice at the same time so we're gonna see how that goes if they get in my way they're going they're gone okay so let's grab my platform I'm using the go power and emboss Okay, so I've already die cut this main section, so I just need to add this die here. So I've already folded this over because it does all the score lines for you. So this section here runs a along that score line. I'm hoping you'll be able to see it because it is a patterned paper and sometimes score lines tend to disappear into patterned paper. So I've got a more or less even space either side that is lined up you can use some tape if you want to I'm just going to run that through okay as you can see that has taken all of the windows out okay so everything's cut out now we've got the windows there and this would be the point where you would add acetate on the back if you want to so if you put a rectangle of acetate on there you can then trim around the edges you could pop vellum in there if you wanted to make it into a light up ornament um, what else you can even add little strips of fabric if you wanted to put in some curtains as well that would look really nice okay so let's uh, make sure all of my lines are scored we're going to move on to the next section now of adding in the detailing for the front and the back so I have gone ahead and I've prepped as much as I can before the video. So these go in this orientation with the tabs on either side. They do not go top and bottom, they go either side. And I am going to use a bit of tape just to hold these in place. And 
and now I'm going to run those through. Now this just goes through your ordinary die cut settings as if you were using a die that cuts out because these do have the window details on these two. Okay, so as you can see, it's done all of that that detail. I'm hoping that is coming across. And these just come out just like that. And if you want to, you can go in with a pen or add embellishments just to make those accents um, a little louder, so to speak. You can literally personalize your camper van however you wish. Now there's one other detail that you can put on if you wish and that is using this die here. Now this one here is going to do the handle so before we pop it through and run it through you would pop this just here and that will pop in your handles and let me give you an example. There we go. No I didn't put it on that one. Where are the handles? Okay, there we go. We have some handles there for our camper van. There we are. They're causing trouble already. Okay, right. Right, so now it's time for assembly. What we're going to do first is we're going to glue these two together except we have too many tabs so it was easier to keep this die symmetrical instead of having a front and a back because then that would mean we would need two two different um, dies for the sides so I'm just going to cut up the score line just on this one and trim off the tabs but I'm only going to do this on one of them so we can now pop these two together and having the double layer on here is also going to create a nice strong base for the gift box too okay so I'm just going to layer this on top Okay, so I'm popping this right up to the score line, just like that, and I'm just going to turn it over make and make sure it's straight, and that I'm able to lift this side up too. So you want to be able to have these both lifting up. Okay. Just switching glues now. So I'm just adding my glue to this tab here and I'm going to pop this on so there is an orientation to this this is the bottom so your windscreens need to be towards the top and that's going to go up like that okay do the same on the other side Right, so I haven't put them on upside down. Just double check that you haven't done that as well. Okay, so now we are ready for assembly. So I'm going to just take off the backing for these two. And then this is simply just the case of popping these together now normally I'd be standing up and doing this but at the moment I'm sitting down so I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the right bird's eye view for looking but that is pretty good. Another thing if you wanted to make stronger sides is you can add this to the outside and then add another outside panel to 
cover it. You know what, I haven't um, scored these. So I haven't folded the scores. There we go. Right, let's get this together. Hopefully I can get a better angle for this one. That's going together much better, but just find the right place to stand or sit just to get the right angles. Okay, so that is the front done. I'm gonna fold these in this time. That's gonna make it a lot easier. Now I find using the double-sided red tape is a lot easier on the tabs than going in with your wet glue. Okay, so that is our front and that this is really coming together now so if you wanted to actually make this into a handbag you can do you don't have to put the top on you can if you want you can even trim off these top sections so as an example this is the caravan die set and there's an ice cream in there but I haven't completed it as a caravan I've left the top off and I've turned it into a handbag so you can do exactly the same with the camper van too okay so back to the camper van we now have something that now looks like this so let's add on the top section here we go so I've added my tape already to this side and if you want to you can cut um, a panel for the roof there's no die for that but it's a very easy measurement so I would like my flap to start here and then it's going to tuck in at the back you can do it at the front if you want to so I'm just going to pop that in there slide that in and just before I press it down just line up the score lines there we go and then that is going to fold into here there we go we have a lovely gift box it's coming along nicely and now we can add on our wheels so I'm just going to add glue just to around about the halfway point and you won't be able to see it because of the heavy pattern on this uh, beautiful paper but there are some semicircles here that the the die from the windows has also done the details for the doors and it's done the details for the wheel the wheel section I'm sure there's a name for it okay so I'm just going to use my grid mat just to kind of help me gauge that they're both the same level because we don't want a wonky van you can get your ruler out as well just to make sure but I am going to work quickly before the glue properly sets and then test the whole thing and remember um, if you're putting something a little heavy in here double up or triple up your wheels just to make sure that the wheels don't bend due to the weight there we go I've got all of my wheels straight so I'm just going to leave that alone now just to um, to set don't want any wheels falling off okay so I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to give you another measurement now for the the top mat so that needs to measure four and seven eighths four and seven eighths by three and five eighths so I'm going to cut myself another panel I've got my paper here ready so let's cut that out and then glue that on very summery now okay and there is our basic camper van so I'm going to add some extra details around here go around with my pen and you also get um, extra dies so you can make these side 
the mirrors there, the side mirrors there, and I also have these already cut out as well. So we can add these onto the side, just like that, for the roof rack. And that is the camper van die set. So if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Um, this, this die set is available at Craft Stash and all the links will be down below. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again next time.